e-learning gate. It opens the cognitive learning paths with the help of digital resources. Decimal notation. Decimal notation is a way of writing numbers using a decimal point to separate whole numbers from fractions. Suppose you buy an item for $7.25. Here, 7 is the whole number and 0.25 is the decimal part, representing 25 cents. So, $7.25 means $7.25. If you work for 8.5 hours, 8 is the whole number, and 0.5 is the decimal part, representing half an hour, or 30 minutes. Place value determines the value of each digit in a number, based on its position. These positions start from the unit's place that is one's place. The order of the place value of digits in a number from right to left is, expressed as ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so on. A decimal number system is used to express the whole numbers and fractions together using a decimal point. This decimal point lies between the whole number part and the fractional part. While the whole number part follows the usual place value chart of ones, tens, hundreds, and so on, but there is a slight difference in the place value of the numbers to the right of the decimal point. If we go to the right after the decimal, the place values start from tenths and go on as hundredths, thousandths, and so on. The first place to the right of the decimal is on the one-tenth position, the next one is one-hundredth, and it goes on. Now consider the example, 56.789. 5 is in the tens place, so it represents 50. 6 is in the ones place, so it represents 6. After the decimal point, 7 is in the tenths place, so it represents 0 0.7. 8 is in the hundredths place, so it represents 0 0.08. 9 is in the thousandths place, so it represents 0 0.009. So, 56.789 can be broken down as 50 plus 6 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.009. Now consider another example. 9045.206. Look at the breakdown of the number. 9 is in the thousands place, so it represents 9,000. 0 is in the hundreds place, which represents 0 or nothing. 4 is in the tens place, representing 40. 5 is in the ones place, representing 5. After the decimal point, 2 is in the tenths place, representing 0 0.2. 0 is in the hundredths place, representing 0 or nothing. 6 is in the thousandths place, representing 0 0.006. Order decimals. To order decimals, you compare the digits starting from the left, moving to the right. The goal is to determine which decimal is the smallest and which is the largest. Let us learn it that how can we do it? We will do it in steps. Step 1. Compare whole numbers first. You look at the whole number part of the decimals, the part before the decimal point. A larger whole number means the decimal is larger. If the whole numbers are the same, you move on to compare the digits after the decimal point. Step 2. Compare tenths. If the whole numbers are the same, compare the digits in the tenths place. The tenths place is the first digit, immediately to the right of the decimal point. A larger digit in the tenths place means a larger decimal. If the tenths digits are the same, move to the hundredths place. Step 3. Compare hundredths. Next, compare the digits in the hundredths place. This is the second digit to the right of the decimal point. Again, a larger digit in the hundredths place means a larger decimal. If the hundredths digits are also the same, continue to the thousandths place. Let's compare and order the decimals 2.45, 2.5, and 2.405, from smallest to largest. Step 1. Look at the whole numbers. Here, each number has a whole number of 2, so we move on to the tenths place. Step 2. 
Compare the tenths digits. The first number is 2.45 with a tenths digit of 4. The second number is 2.5 with a tenths digit of 5. The third number is 2.405 with a tenths digit of 4. Since 2.5 has the highest tenths digit, it is the largest of the three numbers. But since 2.45 and 2.405 both have the same tenths digit, we move on to compare the hundredths place. Step 3. Compare the hundredths digits. 2.45 has a hundredths digit of 5. 2.405 has a hundredths digit of 0. Since 0 is less than 5, so 2.405 is smaller than 2.45. Understanding how to convert decimals into fractions and percentages is an essential skill in mathematics. This process helps in various practical situations such as interpreting data, calculating discounts, and understanding proportions. Let's go through the steps for each conversion. Step 1. Identify the place value. First, determine the place value of the last digit in the decimal. For example, in 0 0.5, the digit 5 is in the tenths place. In 0 0.78, the digit 8 is in the hundredths place. In 0 0.127, the digit 7 is in the thousandths place. Step 2. Write the fraction. Next, Write the decimal as a fraction, with the corresponding place value as the denominator. So 0 0.5 becomes 5 tenths, or 5 over 10. 0 0.78 becomes 78 hundredths, or 78 over 100. 0 0.127 becomes 127 thousandths, or 127 over 1,000. Step 3. Simplify the fraction. Finally, simplify the fraction by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by their greatest common factor. 5 tenths simplifies to 1 half. 75 out of 100 simplifies to 3 quarters. Now, let's convert a decimal to a percentage. Follow these steps. Step 1. Multiply the decimal by 100. To convert a decimal to a percentage, simply multiply the decimal by 100. For example, 0 0.5 becomes 50%. 0 0.75 becomes 75%. And 0 0.125 becomes 12.5%. Example. Convert 0 0.75 to both a fraction and a percentage. 0 0.75 is written as 75 hundredths, or 75 over 100. This simplifies to 3 fourths. Percentage conversion. 0 0.75 multiplied by 100 equals 75. So, 0 0.75 is the same as 75%. A terminating decimal is a decimal where the digits after the decimal point come to an end. This means that the digits after the decimal are finite in number. In other words, it is a decimal that has an end or a final digit. Examples are 17.28, 6.02, minus 22.45435, 0 0.45. Every terminating decimal can be written as a fraction with a denominator that is a power of 10. Example 1. Convert 0 0.5 to a fraction. 0 0.5 is a terminating decimal because it has only one digit after the decimal point. point. Zero point five can be written as 5 tenths, or 5 over 10. This simplifies to 1 half. 
Look at other examples of terminating decimals. Key points. A terminating decimal is a decimal that ends after a certain number of digits. To convert a terminating decimal to a fraction, identify the place value of the last digit. Simplify the fraction to its simplest form. Thank you for watching this video on decimals. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to leave a comment below.